Hi guys, it's Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and today I'm go we're going to start a new mini album. This one's going to be called A Christmas Star, because every page in this album will feature a star on it, because they're such fun shapes, and they're part of the new release from Pre-Lease for September. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me just tell you what I used. So from the Crayley's Nest XXL dies, this is number 24, and this is what I used for my base pages. Then for my pattern paper, this is the Crayley's Nest XXL die number 95 with the rough edges. I really love working with that one. Um, to go ahead and make our flips and folds and stuff, um, I used the Mini Albums Binding System C, and this is the one with the smaller gusset. Then the the featured item of this one is the Creole XXL Dies 102. This is the stars, which is the feature portion of this. And from Journals and Planners, I use the small pocket die. So following this video is going to be the instructions on how to make these specific pages. So this one is a pocket with a acetate window. We're going to go ahead and put some photo mats and stuff in here, maybe a booklet. We'll see what we do, decide to do. This one features an opening on the side. And that one I had already made, but I show you how to go ahead and make this one with a opening at the top. And you literally follow the exact same steps to make both of these. Just the difference is attaching the binding system going like this in the C. I oh, know this one would be a U shape and then this one would be a C shape. So they're literally made the same. It's just how you put them on. And then for the center of my album, we're going to go ahead and create this fun little photo spread, which I like to do in the centers of my albums. And this one features the little um, closures with the string. And then I use the little stars at the top to go ahead and make that. Sorry about that. Windows open because it's nice out. There's little pockets here which we'll go ahead and add some tags there and the stars still do spin. They spin around. So what this is, is this will be the center of the album when we put it together. Yeah, make some more room. And then these will just open and open and open. And then this one. So I know it's kind of hard to see. You can almost see it. But you can see they mirror each each one going back and forth. And then they just close back up like this. And then these will just tuck down and go ahead and fold over. And just go ahead and twist that over as well. And there you go. So anyway, I hope you are going to enjoy this album. I'm really excited about this one. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. But anyway, these are the first four pages. I'm not really quite sure yet of the order, but we'll figure that out. This one, I do know this one's definitely going to be the center. It's possible that this may go on the back side. But we'll see. Once we get all, all our pages together, we'll figure that part out. Anyway, go ahead and watch the tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Hi guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and today we are going to start off on a new mini album series. This one is going to be Christmas themed using some of the new dies from September. So what I already created was this little page and it opens from the side. However, we're going to make another one, but we're going to open it from the top. So the steps to make both pages are going to be identical. So let me show you what I used. So for my base pages, I use the Creole's Nest XXL die number 24. And for this page or both pages, you will need to cut two of those. So let's have that. Then you also are going to need from the binding system C for mini albums, you're going to need to cut three of those. So I have those three. For my pattern paper, I am using the Creole's Next XXL dies number 95. I absolutely love the little um, the edging on these um, rough edges. I wasn't. I had to look at the term 
the rough edges. I absolutely love that look. So you will need two of those. And those are my pattern paper. I also am creating a window pocket here so you can see in. And the acetate that I use happens to have little stars on it, which is the big focus theme of my album. And I had this in my stash, so I picked it up. So I cut out a piece that will cover the black portion of that. And let's go ahead and get started. Oh, real quick, we also do need the, the new Creeley's Nest XXL dies number 102, and these are the stars. And I'm also using, from the last collection release, on the edge die number 48. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to work on the back piece first. So for that, you're going to need three of the Binding System C, and that's the one with the thinner, if you fold it. It's got the thinner because we want to create a pocket, but I don't want the pocket so flat and tight that we can't get in a nice um, photo, um, like an envelope or photo mats or whatever we're going to put in here. So I wanted to have a little bit of room. So as you can see here, it gives us a nice little bit of room. And this is just under a quarter inch, so it's not too big, but it is nice size. That way you can get your... Um, photo stuff in there fairly easy. So let's get started. So we're going to use our base piece first. And I have actually already gone ahead and taped up my pieces. Now we are going to do something a little different that I hadn't done before on this. I'm not liking so much of the bulk of the overlapping of um, when you're doing this kind of stuff when you have the overlaps like this. So I want to trim back some of this. And the way to do this is you're going to go from your first score line. You can kind of see it here for the first one. And we are going to cut a very deep angle. So I'm going to angle it a lot. So as you can see, that's what I'm cutting out. I'm going for a deep angle. And I'm going to do the other side. Just like that. All right, so as you can see, I cut off quite a bit there. All right, so what I want to do, because now this one here, I went ahead and put the binding pieces across the top, the side, and the bottom. But to do this pocket, we're going to go on both sides and the bottom. We're going to leave the top open. So let's go ahead and get that started. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up top to bottom. And I'm just going to flip it over. I just have the nicer stitching. I'm just going to have this on the front part of the card that you can see, which would be like right here. And you're only going to see one side, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to take my tape off, and I'm going to put it right up to this first score line right here. And then you can see it on there. And I'm going to do the other side. Same thing. So going a nice chunk off. Off first. Alrighty. And as you can see, this is where we're going with it. Then you need your bottom piece. Now, this piece you don't need the full size, so you're going to trim it down. And you're just going to cut it. Let me trim that. So 
So I just cut that piece off. And then the same thing again, we're going to go ahead and trim this way down. And that way, if you see on the, this part here, so I'm just going to set this here. So as you can see, you're not overlapping. So it's not going to create any bulk. So there you go, you can see that. Now if you want, you can go ahead and trim these ones back. And then if you pull these up, again, you see no overlapping. So on this one here, this is going to be my bottom page. So we're going to go ahead. So if I were to fold these back, so you're seeing just, just this part now here. I'm going to go ahead and attach this right on top right there. So I'm going to use some tape real quick. And this is going to be really cute. I'm excited about this album. Gonna go ahead and set this on top. And stick it down. And I can unfold all those. There we go. Alright, so let's get started on the top piece. So on the top piece now, we're going to use the on the edge die. And thinking. let's do it on our base piece first. So we're going to center this up and cut it out. So I'm literally just eyeballing it. right to the edges. And now I'm going to run that through my machine. Now if you're doing the side pocket, you would do it from the side. And that was using on the edge number 48. And now we're going to take our pattern paper and we're going to line it up. You want to make sure you're all even on your sides. And we're going to go ahead and cut that one out now. So we see where we got it. Oops. And then I'm going to take my on the edge die again. Now I'm going to go ahead and look to see where the black cardstock is, and I want to put it 
just below that, just a little bit. So that's where I want to cut that one out. And I also want to do my star. So on my stars, I'm using the third one down, so there's still two here. And I am going to line this up to where I like it. And this is where I'm going to put my window. Again, I'm just eyeballing that. And I'm running this through my machine. This is what I have right now. And let's see how they line up here. Looks pretty. Now I want to cut out a window for that. So what I'm going to use is my next die down. And to line that up, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the center. So this is why you want to cut the pattern paper first because I want the black border. Ah, it's sticking to me. So I'm going to make sure that this is lined up where I want it and then line up my star. Take that one off, and now I'm going to run this through my machine. And there we have that. And now I want to go ahead and take my acetate that I made. And I'm just going to set it over the top of my star. Lay that down. And I just want to burnish the tape down so it doesn't lift. Here we go. Cute. And now I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. I was inking the edges, so I'm just going to continue that. I just don't like the white part of the paper showing. <clears throat> and then I'm going to stick this down right on top. So there you can see that. And this one I'm just going to add some glue to. So I'm going to put some tape on the bottom piece. Hold it and then I'll glue it. And it's fairly easy to make these two little pocket pages. 
make sure you get up close to the edges of your star, but don't go too far because you don't want your glue to run over. If you're worried your glue might run over, put the acetate piece on last. That way it won't get on. You won't have to worry about it getting on that if you should smudge it. And there is that page. That's cute. All right, so now we just got to, we're almost done. We just have to attach it. So we're going to go ahead and take this piece here, and we're going to attach this piece to the top. So what you want to do is go ahead and do a test, making sure that none of your flaps are going to show when they're closed up, and that looks good. So to go ahead and do this, I'm going to open it up one side. And again, this is going to get attached right like that. So we'll do the first one. And you want to make sure you're lining up. to the top and the bottom. If you have to, make sure you're lining up to the bottom, more importantly, because that's where you're going to square it off. So, And then these will just go like that. So let's go ahead and get the tape off of these. If you want, you can do one side at a time. So you don't have too much again. So of course it's going to give me a hard time. You know what, let's I can just pull this off after. I need to get that edge done first. Okay, okay that's not working. Let's just there we go. So I'm just gonna put my hand in, get that stuck down, and then we'll just take this piece, tuck it under, and attach it like that. You could use glue too if you wanted to. I just prefer the tape. And there we go. And then just gonna press it down with my ruler. And there you go. So now you have a top loading page and a side loading page. So you you just do the same methods for both. And then when you attach them in the book, they would just get attached like so. But I don't know what order these are going to go in, but there you go. So that's how you make the pocket pages. Now we're going to go ahead and work on our center pages. So I would like to have a nice photo spread in the middle of the album. So I already created one and I'm going to create a second one doing a mirror image. So it's always good if you make your first one, keep it close by so you can walk yourself through it. So for this closure, I just have this cute little star flip up and this just just a little string doing like the, our normal closures that we do 
and I just use stars. So for this, it flips up like this, and there's a pocket here, so we'll put a little tag in this, and then it just opens like this, and we get smaller and smaller as we go down the line. So now we're going to create one going the opposite direction. So we're going to keep this close by, and let me tell you what I used. So for all my base pages, again, we're using the Creoles SXL dies number 24. And for that, you're going to start off with your largest piece. Then you're going to go down to the next smallest piece. And then you're going to go down and down again. So you're going to cut four of them out from the four different sizes. And then also using the Creeley's next XXL dies number, I should know these numbers, 95, the, the ones with the rough edges. We're going to go ahead and we need to cut out our pattern paper. So same, same method, just going down one size down. And then don't forget you're going to need ones for the back sides. So you're going to need that. And that's why you want to keep your, your first one close by because you want to mirror image the patterns on it. You're also going to need, actually, you're going to need four of these. And I already cut one up. And I only needed half of it, so you're going to need four, but you're going to cut it. So what you want to do, because this will be a nice size, so you, you know how when you fold it, you have your little center gusset. You're going to just take one half of that and chop it down the middle. And then using, oh, I'm using Mini Albums Binding System C. So let me just pull these out. So after you run it through the machine, you're just going to cut off the bigger half, but you don't want the center piece here. And then with pattern paper, you're going to go ahead and use this piece to cut out um, your pattern paper. And it's got the cute little stitch lines, what is what I was going for with that. And there's no measuring, so it's easy guess. You just run it through the machine. Um, and then the small pocket on the front from Journals and Planners, I use the small pocket die. I actually don't use this one that much um, for no particular reason. I just don't, and I figured a perfect time to go ahead and use it a little bit more. And also from the Creoles Next XXL dies, 102, the stars again, which is featured on every page of this album that we're going to be making. I went ahead and used the smallest one to go ahead and cut out three out of pattern paper. And then I use the next size up to cut out four from pattern paper. So you need four of those. And I think those are all the die cuts that you need. You're also going to need two brads. And then you're going to need some strength. Oops, that's the string in that one. So a separate piece of string. Make sure you always cut it longer too, and don't cut it until um, you're like ready to cut it, if you even want to cut it. Only because as you make this thicker, your string is going to get longer from this stretching because it's going to be building up some space in here. So you don't want to like do this and then cut your string and then be too short. So. If I were you, I would almost leave it till you actually put the album together, and then you'll have a better idea of how much you need. Um, you can also just bring it back up around the top here. And I was also thinking of maybe getting a charm or something to hang down, but we'll see. I have to find it. I don't have, or I can't find my charms right now that could possibly go with this, so we'll figure something out. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to work from the smallest up. And again, we are going to be working opposite. So obviously, if you're going the smallest up, you're going to go small to this way from the opposite end. So when you're actually building this part, it's not really too much you need to worry about, only because you don't have any paper in here yet. So it's not going to show. So I'm going to take my hinges. I've already added my tape to that. And to do the first one, I'm just going to flip it over. And you want to start with the smallest because your hinge has to be as small as your smallest piece. 
I'm going to go ahead and do that and then chop off the excess. And then just make sure you're good. No overhanging. We're good. So now you're only going to fold on one of the score lines because you're not doing a gusset for this one. So just fold on one of the score lines. And then again, we're going to go ahead and angle. You don't have to worry so much about a strong angle on this one, like on the others, because you're going to cover it with pattern paper and there's already going to be no overlapping anyway. So let's go ahead and attach this one. So there's our first piece. And then just go ahead and fold it over just in case you got it on the score line. You want it to be able to fold over nice, so if you need to, burnish it. Now because we're going up bigger, we don't have to worry about trimming this piece. So what I like to do is I'm centering this piece to this, to the bottom one. And then we're just going to go turn our phone down first. I'm going to place it on top, centering it. So I can see where it is here, centering it. and. Put it on. Gonna hold it, flip it over, make sure it goes nice. And attach that one. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab another piece of our binding. And again, we're gonna Line it up. And then cut that one off. And then again, just trim it up. And you're basically just trimming this part now because just in case your um, binding is bigger than your paper, you're going to hide it so you're not going to see it. And I just have to turn it around because it's easier for me to work from that side. Over and burnish it again. And now we're going again, lining up, centering this piece. And stick this one down. So, as you can see, we are stacking. And then our last one, and make a mark. And then we're going to attach this one. And then make sure we fold over nice. And then we're just going to attach the last one. Again, same way. Centering.
and then you should have a very small between these two pages, all of them, there's just barely like maybe one sixteenth of an inch that they all um, have a little very small gap. All right, so now because we want a mirror image, let's fold this one up and flip it to, let's see. So we're going to open like this. So we're going to start off with the top piece. So this one we can go ahead and add our pattern paper and I've already got everything all taped up and ready to go. So I'm going to set that one there. And this will go together fairly easy. So, oops. There's that one. And now we want to do our pocket. So our pocket's going to go on the opposite side. So I got this one all taped up as well. So we're going in the opposite corner. And tape or glue, whatever you like to work with. I mix it up sometimes. Right, have that one. Now we can go ahead and work on our star. So for the pocket star, and we also need our pocket pattern paper. So we're going to need two cardstock, one pattern, and one brad. So we're going to work with these pieces here. So I just want to add um, some weight to my piece here. So I'm doing two pieces of cardstock for the black part of my star, just because I want it a little thicker, and that way it won't rip. Not that it would rip, but it's just a little nicer when it's a little thicker. So that one I did use glue. Get it all stuck down. And then I can go ahead and add my pattern star paper. dry and now we need to punch a hole in it so I'm gonna go ahead and punch that Oops. sorry about that if that was loud so now I have my little hole so what I want to do is take my pattern paper now and I want to just place it there and then I'll place my star on it. So I want to make sure my star is not going to go over the edges because I don't want it to um, get all jumbled up. And then what I'm going to do is through the hole, draw a circle. So now I have a little circle on my pattern paper and I'm going to punch that out. And then with my star, because I want to be able to I want it still to spin and I also want to be able to get the string under. I'm just going to kind of bend up the tips of the star a little bit. So as you can see it's kind of it's not so flat and I don't want it so flat. And then I can go ahead and add them. There's my brad. 
And then I just like to add some tape to the back of that just to keep the brad from spinning or coming out. And then I can just go ahead and attach it right there. So I can take my tape off. And then I can just screw this piece on. Yes. I don't know if I mentioned it, but on the small I used to, for that pattern paper, you had the matching die for that part, so I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. All right, so there we go. Now we can create this piece. So that's why you need, when you cut out from your hinge system, you go ahead and cut this piece and then you have this. So on this part here, I want to angle it so you see I have there and I'm just going to go ahead and yeah, just kind of guess. So that's the angle I want it. I'm trying to mimic the other one. So I'm just going to fold it down over just like that and then burnish it a little bit and then let's go back and test it out again. To me, it looks pretty close. So now I have it like this. I can cut off the excess, but I want to make sure that I don't cut too much off. So now I just have my pencil line I drew, and I can cut that out. And when I cut that, I am going to, um, I'm cutting on the, well, on this one here, I'm cutting to the inside of the pencil line because I want to make sure that it doesn't stick off the edge here. And then if you, when you glue it down, you'll have that back piece there. So now we can go ahead and glue this one down. And just just like that. So as you can see, you don't want no overhang on the edge because when you put your pages together in an album, they're going to all line up. Although these two are going to, like I said, be mirror image of each other. So when you open your book. And now that's why you want this piece because you're going to go ahead and place it on top. So I'm going to put it where I want it and I'm just going to use something to make a straight line. So I can cut it. So let's first let's get, I think I need to do my star first. So we have our two pieces. So let's go ahead and do that first because I have to put a hole in here and I need to be able to see where. So let's go ahead and attach this first. And then we need to punch a hole again. So we're punching a hole in the center of the star. That like that. And now what I want to do is I want to make sure when I put my star on, none of this part here overhangs. So that's why I didn't want to put my pattern paper on first. So I'm going to go ahead, see how I look and draw a line. So I'm happy with where that is. It's not too close to the edge. So I can punch that one. And 
And now I can go ahead and attach this piece because I can see my hole from the bottom. And just want to ink that edge, put my glue on. like that and then again I can just flip it over now and I see where my hole is I can punch that out now I can add my star with the hole with my brad And make sure that's down good. So now we're looking pretty good. As you can see, we're mirror imaging it perfect. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my string first. So I'm just going to go wrap it around the star. Tight in a knot. So this one you are going to want to cut if you have a lot of excess because you don't want it showing. This is the tail part. Go ahead and trim that off. And the next thing you want to do is go ahead with your pattern paper again. I got to turn it. Put it on. And I need this. Go ahead and line it up. Oops. And cut that piece off. And I'm just going to ink that real quick and then glue this piece down. So this is going to go right over top of your brad. Then what I want to do is go ahead and let's take our other piece of cardstock and our star. We're going to attach this little piece. And this is just to make the back side pretty. So it's all finished off. So when you flip it up, you still got the nice pretty look there. And then we're going to go ahead and glue this one down now. So what you want to do first is Make sure your star, so your star can still spin, but we want to anchor that so it doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and make like the little fin here, even with this part, and then just decide where you want your string to come out. So on that one, I did it straight out the bottom. So do I want to do that again? I don't want to come off this side. Oops. I'll just have it go the same. So, oops, where are we going? This one's going towards that direction. So, this one should go towards that direction. All right, so we're going to come out from this corner here. So, we're going to go ahead and add glue. Now, this one you'll have to hold a little bit unless you're taping. I recommend glue just to hold it a little stronger because this does get some movement and I don't know how strong the tape would hold up. So we're just going to glue that right on top. And that will take a minute or two to adhere down. So 
So let's, I'll keep playing with that, but now I just want to go ahead and add my pattern paper. Get me a little more glue. There is some bulk with the string and stuff, so you do need to play with it a little bit. So let that glue. So now this is where you want to go ahead and make sure as you open, you start putting your pattern paper on the same. So here's this one. And I've already put tape on all the backs. And I probably would normally glue this. However, for video's sake, it's just quicker for me if I tape it on. So I'm just keep making sure that's going to stay stuck. And then our next one. Right up. Put that there. And you don't have to do them the same pattern papers on each one. I just kind of like it because it just, um, I want it to mirror image it. So that's why I go ahead and do it that way. So I'll get that on before my glue dries up. And then the next one is the music notes. music notes and then the little green paper. And put this one on. Obviously, this one now is going to be this one again. Okay. See how my star is doing over here if it needs any more blue, and it does. So let me just add a little more. Remember, you don't have to worry about the back side because that's what's going to be all attached to everything. Music notes again. If you watch me, you know this is how I like to attach my papers when I know I have them placed right where I want them to go. And there we go. Now we should be close it up. And I want it to go the other way because I want it to hang. So that one, and then this one. And again, we'll have a cute little tag sticking out, but that's how that part there will look. 
once you have it. So again, now let's open it all the way up so you can get the, the look. So they go up like this and then your photo spreads just open up. And of course, it's going to be hard to see it, but this is what we have going and so they will just work like that to each other and then they just fold up. So this will be the center portion of our mini album. All right, so I hope you enjoyed making these four pages to start our Christmas Star mini album. And if you were watching this on McCreeley's YouTube channel or my YouTube channel, Patty's Crafty Spot, go ahead, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to both or either channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.